Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and we've got another lovely scenescape here. This is one of our new ones and I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to create a card using these fabulous backgrounds. So I'm going to start with Jayla and I'm going to ink her up in Nocturne. Make sure that she is completely covered and I'm going to pop her down round about here, taking her wings right to the top. Give that a good press down. And there we go. Okay, so I've, I've done it this way round because it's far easier to line up the flourish that she's going to be sitting on. It's far easier to do it this way um, than actually doing the flourish first and then trying to angle her to sit correctly. So popping these down onto the block I'm going to ink up this time in twilight And this is the first one. So finding where her hand is, I'm going to pop that just on her hand. And we've got the other one. And I'll do the same thing, just overlapping the feet of Jayla. There we go. So I've got some Spanish moss here. This is just the, the slightly thinner one. And again, I'm going to ink up in twilight. And I'm just going to pop a few of those around. And then we've got our lovely wild flower. And I think we'll use the monarch. So I'm just creating a few layers to give give it a little bit of depth here. I think that's really pretty. It doesn't need much at all. So I've got some of our butterflies. And let's go back to the monarch again. Ink the butterflies up and let's just have them. Round about. And we've 
I've got a nice little foliage stamp here. I use this one quite a lot actually. This does come in a set, but it's one of my favourites at the moment anyway. And all I'm going to do is just add a little bit more bit more colour. It looks like a lovely wild meadow. All these lovely flowers. And of course we, I mean we don't necessarily need a moon or a sun, but if we decide we would like one, I've got one of our moon masks here and I'm going to pop that over the top just to show you how easy it is to create that. on these cards. So the inks blend really well. And you can see again how that sort of pulls your eye now, it's sort of spotlighted her. We can add a little bit of depth around the edge if we wanted. So I'm going to use the twilight just to bring in a little bit of depth on the edges. Now I'm going to use some of the Posca pens. So I've got my ye yellow here. And all I'm doing is just dotting. And of course, if you wanted to bring in another colour, let's put a little bit of blue. And these pens uh, work fabulously on this. It's such a solid colour. They'll go over any dark background. So I've got my glue pen here. I'm going to go around the edge of the moon. And if you don't feel like you've got a, a steady hand when drawing around the edge of something like this, just dot instead tiny little dots very close together you've got a little bit more control over it so that your line doesn't go skew if I'm going to add a few dots down here as well And then let's pick a glitter. Well, this one's vintage 
shimmer. So again, I'm just going to sprinkle around the edge. I'm trying to just stick to the areas where I've put the, the glue because the glitter will stick to quite a lot of this because the ink is still slightly wet but that's not such a bad thing okay so I hope you can see that guys but that's a really pretty background just by building up lots of colour, lots of layers over the background that you've already got Okay, thanks so much for joining me again today, guys. I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves. You take care and we'll see you real soon. Bye for now.